There appears to be a break in the bloody battle for control of a strategic corner of Africa. Rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo have pulled out from the city of Goma, the capital of a region rich in mineral resources. As Sura Gura tells us, despite some aid from countries like Canada, the humanitarian catastrophe is growing. With the number of refugees swelling in size, a desperate race is underway to avert a humanitarian crisis in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In the last week alone, more than 80,000 people have flooded into camps like this. They fled their homes as rebel and government troops fought for control of the eastern part of the country. When the government army attacked, a mortar came through our roof, she says, injuring my husband. Food is only now getting through, thanks to a break in the violence. And a $2 million grant from Canada to buy grain will help keep these refugees fed for another month. But with clean water scarce, cholera is now a risk, and many are suffering from malnutrition. And they walked long distances, carrying children, some carrying a little bit of um, belongings, and they didn't have any, any, any food and any water. Fighting erupted in April when the mainly Tutsi M23 rebels broke away from the Congolese army. Growing in strength, they took the strategic city of Goma almost two weeks ago, and there have been allegations they recruited child soldiers. Beaten and disorganized, there were also reports government troops went on a rampage. There was lots of shooting, he says. Then they started to rape girls and steal things as they pleased. Humiliated, the country's government says it will discuss the mutineers' demands of better jobs, but only if they leave Goma. So rebels have pulled out, a positive sign. Not as encouraging is the lingering bitterness. You know what we normally do with traitors? We shoot them, says the new commander of government forces. Hatreds here run deep. Between 1997 and 2003, the bloodiest conflict ever waged on the African continent claimed up to 5 million lives. The UN, which has 19,000 peacekeepers in the country, is once again patrolling the streets of Goma after facing criticism of not doing more to stop the violence. But now at least, there's a chance there could be some peace for them to keep. Stuart Greer, Global News.